name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. We're in our new digs. Jake, how do you feel? You're so far away from me now. Can you believe it, Jim? New digs, new year, new me, new outfit, so I'm feeling pretty good. Ah! I'd like you to go back to the old outfit. Now that's dumb. Uh, Jake, can you tell me what happened in the sports? Jim, the sports news everyone is talking about. Your Matteo Bertini. Oh, benissimo, huh? He thanks diarrhea medication for helping him win his match, the old John Boy specialty. I'd rather be able to poop. It scares me more to not be able to poop. Oh, my God. Have I told this story? Broncos Super Bowl in New York City. I wanted to go. Got the runs. Decided I couldn't make it. Like, bathroom was going to... I took some Imodium to make it stop. Sickest I've ever been because I kept all the sickness right in. Mm-hmm. Worst day of my life. Broncos got rolled. Girl I was hooking up with, hooked up with another guy. It was a bad day. Anything else happened that day? No, that was pretty much it. Well, this guy took Imodium 1, his tennis match, and he said, uh, thanks, Imodium. Do you think he takes it again, whether he's got the shits or not? It's kind of a superstition thing. Or do you think he's just trying to get a sponsorship? Tennis guy. Thinking? No. Okay. Well, so good, good job. What was his name? Uh, Matteo Bertini. Diarrhea kid. <laughs> that is tough. That's the risky run, though. Jim, speaking of worse than that, almost a breakdown. We're attacking some of our favorite things here, the news and getting hit by vehicles. I love the local news. This has been covered on Weekly Dumb. I like when they do remotes, and they had Tori doing a remote on a water line broke, and it was, like, raining out, and then traffic was diverted. So they said, why don't we send someone there to show people what it's really like, which isn't necessary. This is awful. Yeah. Oh, it's here. Yeah. The, it, no, you're right. Water line did break, and there is some traffic. Bad time there. down here, I Bill. can totally see it because I am here. She got hit by a car. Uh, car sideswiped her, took the corner a little too close. She comes up. She says, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. This actually happened to me when I was in college as well. Kind of line of duty thing. Says that a little too quickly. Little too quick. A little too. A little too quick because because she's the guy, Tim. He goes. That's the first for you on okay. TV, Tori. Tim's the biggest loser in the world. Just either like a tough break for him, or he's just the least remorseful or like empathetic person in the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He just did this face at one point. Like, hmm. can you tell us about the water break though? Yeah. People really need to know. This is happening. Yeah. We run a professional news set here. So I just think, let's do a mock run-through if this happens again. You get hit by a car. I'll be Tim. Well, Jim, this this water pipe burst. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Let's cut away for a moment, and we'll get back to Tori and hope okay, she's okay. And then they cut away, and they do, and and then they cut to com- okay. they cut to commercial, and then off air. He's like, "Oh my God, Tori, are you okay? Um, all right. Why don't it's you just okay. stay still? Stay still. Let someone come check you out. Don't walk around too much." Third time getting hit by a car, Tim. Tori, shut up and stay still. Anyway, let's get back to the News sports. Sucks. You know, some people that play sports they like to dip, but that's a lot of tobacco and nicotine and can of dips doesn't got that junk in it. No ripper. CBD. The more sports, please. Oh, capybara sits in the old gum tree. Wrong animal for that song, Jake, please. But a capybara, Jim, won Japan's annual hot spring bath competition. How positive are you that you're saying the animal's name correctly? Not, not high. Okay, because I, you said it with some confidence. Well, so kookaburra is the animal from the song. The capybara, I think I am saying that right. You don't think it's more like capybara? Jim, it won the annual hot spring bath competition. We don't have to tell you guys the results where Cobb won. Uh, Cobb. Basically, we cooked a bunch of fur balls. I would love to know if the fur balls knew they were competing. They were just putting hot water. You think horses compete, right? Has the capybara died during this? Yes. Yeah? Many. Seems like a weird drunk farmer competition. Huh. Yeah, my copybara stay in a hot tub long than yours. It's actually a great call. I mean, there's no better way to kill time than put your than animals cooking in a, some capybaras. Put your animals in a hot tub and just like well, you killed that lobster. Remember, this lobster's got to be cooked by now. We opened it up and he took like his last step, and it was just like horrid. It, was, it scarred me for life. Delicious it was a hit at the party. I'm out. <laughs> said you weren't going to talk about that. <laughs> it's the... No, dude. Oh, dude, we got to do the not oh, sports. We're in a new office and you just rip a segment. Not sports. Just 
Just take a segment Stop away. Stop with the Ritz Cracker. Well, I don't know why I even be here. I don't get to do my not sports. This is a huge not sports. They found dinosaur butthole. <laughs> Zach laughed. Do you not know the topics What's today? I'm with you. Science. Uh, they, yeah, they found the first preserved dinosaur butthole. Mm. And uh, according to the scientists, it's perfect. Yeah. And unique. The butthole is used for what, Jim? These four things. One hole. Pooping. Peeing. Two different places on me. Mm. Uh, laying eggs. And breeding. Same as peeing for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is huge. This is huge because now that we know this, we can... Um, we that can was use my, the science. That was my biggest question. I, I said, is it, I, why are we doing this? Why are we studying? Why, what does dinosaurs teach us? Well, now that we know that the dinosaur uses its butthole for pooping, peeing, breeding, and egg laying, we strive to be better. Like, we're like, oh. Come on! Yeah. Egg. It's the employees. Of the week. Light. That's some dinosaur stuff right there, huh, man? Goes to Chris and Sam. Sam and Chris. Leading the Chris charge and, and setting up this new office here. There's this TV that Zach can now do this on. I can do this. I couldn't do this in the old, old studio. Yeah, there's a pipe there. I might do this all episode. All up. My son. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was brought to you by Canadip CBD. They're offering 50% off the swag pack. That's all five core flavors plus a badass Canadip snapback at half off. CanadipCBD.com. Use code dumb to dip in to 50% savings on the swag pack they're also doing an unreal giveaway for the month of january go to their youtube channel comment dumb one winner will win a sweet jersey where the fuck are the cameras in here <laughs> there's a couple bathhouses in the city we might have to check them out one day okay. it's like a couple famous turkish bathhouses you, you, me, Zach, camera. It says here that the researchers could tell the dinosaur likely had copulatory sex. Which Do you think you have that? Use copulatory in another sentence. Jake doesn't have copulatory sex, does he? That's a sentence that works for sure. What if I do have copulatory sex? That's why I ended it with does he? Copulatory. Do you think you have that? Mounting intermission in a jacket. I may have had copulatory sex.